Hi, this is Seth, recording for channel Velvet and NyQuil. Now, what some of you might not guess from uh, watching a lot of my poetry or reading a lot of my poetry is that I'm actually really into uh, video game development and design. And uh, one thing people always misconstrue about video games is that the term dying is actually common for all video games, but it doesn't necessarily mean that a human or a corporeal being or anything else, a, a representation of a human is dying. All dying means in video games is that you're being told you can't play the game for X amount of minutes or X amount of time. If you're dead in the game, you don't have control, which means you can you can basically put down your controller and the same thing's happening. Uh, dying in a video game is basically your lives are going down in Mario, or in Tetris the game stops, or in say Halo, you're told you have to wait 10 seconds before you respawn, which doesn't seem as big as the other two, but when it takes you... 15 seconds to get headshotted in Halo, having to wait the next 10 seconds to play the next 15 seconds makes a big difference, which is why people hate dying, quote-unquote, in Halo. Now, what I wanted to do was watch a trailer for League of Legends, a game where you can go into a game and hear the words, Pentakill, Unstoppable, Ownage, repeated over and over into your mic, or I mean headset, yeah, the headset, the game will tell you that you've gotten five kills by telling you PENTAKILL, but only if you're doing really, really well. And I want to watch the trailer first, and then I want to discuss why it does that, why it would tell a person that they've gotten a PENTAKILL, and tell them that that's a reward. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so that's the ERC, ESRB rating. And Riot Games is the uh, the developer, I believe. I might be wrong. Kiss this guy looks pretty nimble. This is a spawn point he's probably guarding. Or no, he could just be on the map. Kill. Yeah, he looks pretty happy with that. Oh wait, no. It's not a kill. That's just a minion even. So this is just getting started. Oh wait, no. No, it's not a minion. Oh wow, it's an actual character. I don't play the game enough to know to be honest. I so yeah, they're they're engaging in combat right now. And Okay, yeah, he dodged that attack. Or he lived through it at least. Boy, does that his ace in the sleeve? Okay, so someone's are they on the same map even? What's where's that happening? He's running. He's probably getting attacked by multiple uh, enemies right now, I'd be yeah. That's probably an enemy attack right there. Or, wow, is that just one? Oh, wow, what is that? What character is that? Oh, that doesn't look good. I hope someone comes and helps him soon. Just a scratch. Oh, yep, you're trapped, and... Oh, now you're about to get ganked, dude. You're, his teammates are coming. Wait, no. Wait, no teammates? Oh, no. Did he portal back? Did he portal back in the middle of that? That looked like a town portal. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. You're gonna have to try something else, babe. That might work. Oh, that might stun him. Yep, blow your hair out of the way. That's right. And go for... Th Whoa, I did not see that coming. Wow. Jeez. It's insane. And you're... Yep, saw that coming. Oh, I did not see that coming, though. Got outmaneuvered. By a paladin, no less. It's crazy. Okay, so this looks like a barbarian guy, and I think they're on the same... Yeah, they're definitely on the same side, or else he would have guarded. So we've got two teams fighting, and uh, I don't know who's on whose team yet, though, but I know that these two people are fighting against the Paladin, so we're seeing a group matchup so far. Oh, that's not going to kill a barbarian, dude. You, you should have tried harder. You just made him angry. Oh. Oh, that's one of my favorite characters. She's... Oh, don't let the bear come out. Don't let the bear come out. Oh, oh, oh there's the bear. Oh, oh, oh crap. Always a little girl with the bear. 
Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, that's what's happening. That, that's happening. Oh god, that looks so cool. You, that's your ultimate. You guys are screwed. Wait, what? Oh, come on. No, d d get up. You, you can take more than that. I've played as your character before, dude. You can, you can do more than that. Okay, maybe I, maybe I don't know how strong that character is, because it's just getting hit like a rag doll right now, and it goes away after, like, 30 seconds, so it's probably going to turn back into a little stuffed animal. No, it just got eaten. Oh, well, it was a stuffed animal. Um... Is that a Hydralisk? Oh, she's still got fire. She can still do this. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the, the map enemy. So yeah, they're going for the bonus. Okay, cool. So that's a, uh, a teaser trailer for League of Legends. That's supposed to get you hyped for the game. And I haven't played League in a while because it's just so competitive. Like, dying hurts in League of Legends because you've let down your other four teammates when you die. Because if you die in a, a group matchup, then your other four teammates have to take on whatever's going on by themselves. And they're going to probably die faster because you screwed up. So dying in League of Legends doesn't matter because you care about your, your character dying. You care about the fact that your teammates are going to lose the, 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 the matchup, the, the contest, because your character died. You made a mistake in your, your players and your how tight your control was. But as you can see, I need to slow down my talking. I'm just really excited because League of Legends feels a lot like chess, but it's uh, what we call imbalanced chess. Basically, all the pieces do different things, but because you can have different combinations of pieces, i.e. each of the five players can choose their places in tandem with each other, you can make for some really interesting games, and they all take place... Um, I don't have time to show an actual all-star match, but as you can see, you have Best League of, Ma League, best League of La uh, Legends matches. You can look this up online to see what the matches look like, and it's a really exciting game. I'm just, I'm not good at it. Most people don't want to play League of Legends because they're just not good enough at it. They don't want to play against bots the whole time because bots are the only thing they can beat. The, uh, the people who aren't good at League of Legends are good at League of Legends, which is why you'll see a lot of people getting angry about League of Legends because they're just so angry about losing at a really fun game. But if they made, like, uh... If they made a game for like casuals that was League of Legends, like it would, it would probably get dominated by people who are really good at League of Legends. There's always someone who's really good at League of Legends. There is, and then other people have to get good at League of Legends to make up for the difficulty curve. And I could go on and on all day about how you can't make League of Legends for noobs, uh, people who knew or new to League of Legends, because all League of Legends is is a, a chessboard that you can change the players and the pieces. But it's it's the same game. It's originally Dota, Death of the Agents for I mean Death of the Ancients, but. As you can see, I've got so much to say about this, and it was really fun for me to watch that trailer. Um, if you like this and other things on the channel, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, just keep in mind, the next time you hear someone say, man, I can't believe I died or I killed that person in that game, they're really just saying, I can't believe I had to wait longer to play or made that person wait longer to play. And that's upsetting for someone who's that excited about this game, but uh, that's the other thing about video games. Why are we so happy to play them? And is that healthy, or can that be... Uh, can that be damaging? Can that be damaging to someone? That's also a very good question. That's something that uh, the news tries to tackle a lot, but I feel that they do it from the wrong perspective, which is why gamers tend to resist Fox Media. It's not that they don't have a valid point, it's that they have a valid point, and they're not doing any of their homework to find out what they're talking about. That's what we really hate. We just wish that people would listen, because video games, if you play them too much, just like if you do anything too much, are damaging. But I can talk about that for hours later. Um, for now, thank you for listening. I'm I've ranted for quite a while, so so thank you for listening to the rant. And if you like to subscribe, otherwise just uh, I, I just enjoy your day. I hope you guys have a great day. And this is uh, Seth from uh, Velvet and Nyquil signing out.